Hi, my name is Julie, and I'm a member of the Sandy Spring Museum Garden Club. I'm also a beekeeper. Today I want to talk to you a little about the honeybee, and then take you down to the hive and show you what's going on this time of year. Honeybees are not the only pollinators, but they are significant pollinators. It's estimated that a third of the food we consume is pollinated by honeybees and they also make honey. A single honeybee in her lifetime makes only one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey. A colony of bees must travel 55,000 miles and visit two million flowers to make one pound of honey. Now let's go down to the hive and see what's going on. A typical hive has between 20,000 and 60,000 bees. This is a relatively new hive, so the number of bees is going to be on the smaller side of the scale. Most bees are solitary, but honeybees are social insects. That means that the individual bee works cooperatively with the others for the welfare of the whole hive. Each hive will have female workers, male drones, and one queen. Only the queen can lay fertilized eggs. I'll show you a frame now with some brood. The light brown is capped brood. The eggs have been laid, the larva has developed and it's been capped and very soon a new bee will emerge from this capped brood. On the edges you can see a little glistening, that's where the bees have brought in some nectar and are storing it to feed the young. The worker bees have different roles depending on their age and the needs of the hive. Young bees are nurse bees for the young. They also clean out the cells so that the queen can lay more eggs. As the worker bee gets older, they become foragers. They go out and gather pollen and nectar to feed the young and to make honey. They also become guard bees so that if there's a noise or a vibration at the entrance, they'll respond and fly out at you. There's even a cast of undertaker bees. These bees take out the dead bees and keep the hive clean. This is a frame that has actually some cat honey. It's a different color brown, but underneath there, there's nice honey the bees are eating some of it, but they're also storing some for winter. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little about these amazing creatures.